In this video, I'm going to give a very quick overview about the different helmet options um, that we have for sale and also for rent. I'm not going to go super technical in this video. I'm just going to give you know, basically what the differences are between them and what you might like to have when you're driving a motorbike across Vietnam. Okay, with that said, let's get into it. This is a Napoli helmet. We offer these for free when they're second hand or you can buy them for $10 new. They don't come with a visor, but you can use your own sunglasses from home or buy very cheap sunglasses on the side of the road. You buy sunglasses for like two bucks in Vietnam. They're not DOT or ECE certified, which means they basically have no safety certification. But honestly, they're not bad for what they are. And we've never had a customer complain about the quality, even in a crash. Would I use one of these myself? Uh, no. but. Are they better than the average helmet that a local's wearing or the stuff that you're gonna get from other rental companies in the backpack streets? Yeah, these are better than those. Um, so basically they're okay, but um, they're not certified in any way. This here is another variant. We're currently selling it for $15 and it comes with a visor. But basically it's the same helmet. This is an LS2 Rapid full face helmet. This is actually the model of helmet that we use for rentals as well. So if you're booking a bike on our website, you can see that you can rent one of these. To buy one at this time is only $65, so they're incredibly cheap. They're ECE and DOT certified, which means basically they're passing both American and European safety cert certifications. The advantage to one of these is for the money, you're getting a lot of safety. The disadvantage is they're quite heavy and they're gonna be hot. Full face helmets are not that breathable and Vietnam's a very hot country. So you're basically sacrificing um, breathability and weight for price and safety. But they're really good helmets for the money. This is an LS2 Verso three quarter helmet. These are also ECE DOT certified and they come in at around $110. There's an awful lot of padding going on in these helmets. The nice thing about these is they're super breathable, but the disadvantage of course is the fact that you have nothing covering uh, your face. They also have this pretty cool drop down visor. Next up, we have the LS2 436. Now this is a dual sport helmet, also passing ECE and DOT certification. Comes in at about $120. And my opinion, dual sport as a style of helmet is what you want for Vietnam. Why? Because it's full face and lightweight and breathable. Dual sport is the idea of on and off road. So it's coming in the middle of a road helmet and an off road helmet. And that basically is what we're doing here. Road speeds are slow in Vietnam. So the fact that uh, it's gonna be a little bit more noisy in terms of airflow, wind flow than a road helmet isn't a big deal because you're not going that fast. You want as much airflow as you can get here. You've got a visor obviously at the front, which is nice, lightweight and breathable. So it's double the money of the LS2 Rapid full face, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. Next up is the LS2 OF590. Now this is a sort of top hat helmet, Harley rider, I guess you could say. It's got a drop down visor here. This helmet comes in at about 75 US dollars and is DOT certified. Um, it surprises me how popular these helmets are. And me personally, I don't like them because they're just sitting on the top of your head and they can also move around quite a bit. So in an event of a crash, you might have your forehead on display. But yes, for breathability, uh, style and price, they're not a bad choice and a lot of people do go with them. Next up, we have the Yohei 950 modular helmet. This comes in at 86 US dollars, which is very cheap um, for a modular helmet. It is also ECE and DOT certified. And what is a modular helmet? Well, the idea really is that they pop up here at the front. So when you stop on the side of the road, instead of taking the helmet off, you can just pop it. Also has a sun visor uh, thing included. So the downside to modular helmets is they're not as safe as proper road helmets. And they're also extremely heavy. Now, one of the things that people don't realize is that the difference between a cheap helmet and an expensive helmet isn't just the weight, it's the way it sits on your head. So an expensive helmet will sit directly on your head, like the center of gravity goes down through it. Whereas a cheap helmet will often pull you forwards uh, at the front. Now I'm talking about dual sport helmets and road helmets there. 
the modular helmet inherently, because of the design and all the mechanisms go, going on inside, pull your head forwards anyway. So you're adding a lot of extra weight and weight in the wrong place just for that idea of being able to flip it up. So I personally dislike modular helmets, but so many people want them because of what they see on Instagram and things. So anyway, if you're one of those people, here it is. It's cheap, it works, and uh, to be fair, it will get you across Vietnam. Finally, we're gonna talk about the Bell MX-9 Adventure. Now, this is a helmet which is basically the best-selling dual sport helmet uh, on the planet. So you'll see these back home, wherever you're from. It's a super popular and common helmet. It's ECE and DOT certified. Um, it's incredible if you get into the nuts and bolts of this helmet of what it can do. It comes in at about $320. So really, this is a helmet you buy if you're gonna be motorbiking at home or if you have a motorbike already, you wanna upgrade your helmet. Um, it's pretty cool the way the visors come off, the peak comes off, you can basically change this into an off-road helmet and a road helmet. Uh, it's got MIPS technology inside, which is basically like rotation impact tech. It's an awesome helmet. And also a difference between, say, uh, one of these and a LS2 MX436 is you have different levels on the visor that it can open. That doesn't come with cheap helmets. For most people motorbiking Vietnam, they just want a cheap helmet that's going to get them across the country. So you're talking $100, $120. But if you're going to get something for using back home, this is what we have available uh, for you. Okay, to wrap this video up, I'm just going to quickly uh, talk about a question I get asked a lot, which is, should I wear a full face helmet? Now the answer is, it's up to you. Obviously, without a full face helmet, your face is open to hitting the ground. And so that's a risk that you should think about. Uh, it's not something that I can decide for you. Um, if you're driving around the city, uh, for me personally, I just use a normal Vietnamese helmet. But as soon as I hit the open road and I'm going to be on the bike um, for long hours, um, then I'm going to use a proper full face helmet. I personally use an off-road helmet, so not, there's been no off-road helmets on display in this little video and I'll use goggles. Why? Because they're breathable and super lightweight. But in the end, the best compromise, I think, is the dual sport helmet. You should be budgeting $100, $120 to protect <laughs> your head on a motorbike, in my opinion, but it's up to you.